This is James Turner for IFL TV. I'm at your call today, Beckham Real for the Price Fighter. Right Just bumped into the program manager of the year. How are we doing, Nick? Good, 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 good. You've got your man Dean Burnley on the Price Fighter right tonight. How do you think he's going to get on? Do you know what? I think you you might surprise a few people. Um, big disadvantage he's got is he's given a lot of weight away to some of these guys. But um, over three minutes, maybe you can outbox him. I think he's, he's mixed in higher company than most of them. I mean, Jason Cook, obviously, um, a long way back, uh, he was fighting at a high level. But um, a lot of these guys are sort of unproven, whereas Dean has been in with like, uh, you know, like guys in the world top ten. And, Not to uh, mention he's sparring 177 rounds of Amir Khan. Yeah, yeah, he's been he's been around the block in the, in the gyms in America, and Australia, and uh, yeah, he's um. Are you a big fan of the Price Fighter series, Nick? I am, yeah. I, I enjoy it. I think it's good. It's like something a bit different. Um, I think boxing needed like something new, bring a bit of fresh air into it, and it, it did that. It gets people from um outside the the usual demographic if you like to watch boxing to, to get down it. So yeah, that's good. It's got to be good. Did you see Eddie Earn's uh, sweep about tag team boxing his April Fool's show? Oh, I did see that. I tell you what, oh, that was um, probably my favourite tweet of the year so far. I was laughing. I, the people were responding to it. <laughs> like, if you actually go on there and read them, you'll see. But yeah, no, I thought, what? I mean, you know, what, what are these people are? <laughs> the thing say. is, I suggested this a little while ago, and then Cougar pick it up and ram with it. Do you know, I was going to do that when he was in. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was actually, I was going to do exactly the same thing. No, man, just leave him! He just didn't get wet, would he? I saw anything else to say to that. I didn't know what was going on. I was actually thinking, I was going to do exactly the same thing. I just thought, no, I'll rise above it. I'll maintain my um, dignified professional demeanour. That weren't random at all, was it? Right, where were we? Sorry, man. Talking about the random April Fool stuff and the amount of people tweeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that. And I love that some people actually bought into it. I, I thought they were just joking. Just release. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Watt. And Nick Joshua. John Wright and Jim Watt. Yeah. Um, my first thought was if Jim Watt's turning pro, coming back, he's going to need a manager. I'd like to throw my own hat into the ring. Bang on the chin. Let's talk a little bit about your show. I know you're at the Canon set of this. Friday, right, so it's been a busy, busy few days. Yesterday we had the um, Barry McGuigan show in uh, the Odyssey Arena. Yeah. Best atmosphere I've seen at any show for a long while. It was a really good. Um, that was good. Uh, obviously today at the Prize Fighter, you York Hall, completely different uh, arena and everything. But I love the atmosphere here as well. It's absolutely packed. I mean, there ain't a spare seat in there. And uh, and again, like I was just saying, you know, it's a lot of people that maybe don't come to normal boxing shows, but to this, it's special, so they come, and uh, that's not changes the atmosphere a little bit from like the hardcore boxing fans. Then my own show on Friday is at uh, King's Cross, and uh, the uh, we've got a lot of uh, sort of novices on there. We got um, the main fight is uh, Craig Wyatt, who I manage um, fighting. Uh, Moorish from uh, the south coast, from like Devon, somewhere down there. But that is going to be, I think, like, you know, like some fights they're meant for small hall boxing. Like some for the TV, you've got to have like this record and this record. But that's just a fight. From looking at them both, um, I know that's going to end up in like the sort of fight gets everyone involved. And that's what, at King's Cross, we have to have that because we need people. It, you know, it, the, the, the whole event really is. Um, based on boxers being able to sell tickets and the event selling tickets and if we have fights like that, it's very entertaining, it's difficult the to, to come back, isn't it, to see a fight like that? It's difficult to predict the strip the the script because um we don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, a lot a lot of the fights, especially early on in careers, oh, oh. there the, the can be um you have to sort of weight the, the matchmaking in a certain way because you've got to deal with guys' records. Unfortunately it's just part of the business. We have to deal with the records. But um to have a fight like that where We've got like a belt, the Masters uh, belt on the line, but the first time that both of them fought for a belt, I think, so they're, 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 and they've had plenty of notice. That's another thing that we do when we're making the, try and make the 50 50 fight. They both had like proper notice for it, so we will see the best of them on a night. And obviously, I hope my man wins, Craig Wyatt. What happened with Christian Lake that night? I know there's been a lot of people on the forums talking about it. How did you score Craig Wyatt, Christian Lake? Um, I, well, I, I had Craig um, winning it quite comfortable. I, I had him um, 
he wasn't sort of winning the rounds by massive amount, but he was throwing more punches, he was landing more punches, he was getting hit with less punches. And how can you lose that? I don't know. I, 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 I was confused by it. Um, I think a lot of people, I mean, I actually had one punter come up to me uh, saying to me, oh, you can't tell me boxing's not corrupt. Now. That guy, you know, and I was like, well, that was the house fight and the decision went the other way. You know, if, it, if it's going to suit me, <laughs> the house fight will win. I'm managing him, I'm trying to build him up. And I thought, and this guy obviously also thought that he'd won the, the fight quite comfortably. And, uh, you know, that sport, it's professional sport, it's competitive. Um, yeah, I mean, for my money, the, the decision didn't go the way that it should have gone. That's you boxing know, sometimes, uh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. They, everyone has to have their, um, their own... If, if we didn't have all have a different opinion, the world would be a boring place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> on that particular occasion, I'd rather actually it had been a little bit more boring and he had had the same opinion as everyone else in the room. But for whatever reason, he, he gave it the way he did. That's obviously the way he saw it, but um, not the way I saw it or anyone else that was there that I spoke to. Indeed. Coming back to the Friday show, Warren Fenn in action as well. Yeah, him up big nice. punching Very Warren Fenn. Yeah, 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 he's a big puncher. He's a, he's a good, he was a good athlete before he was a, a sprinter. and. Uh, he, uh, I'd say his, um, his punch power is uh, it made, uh, it's his main asset. If you look at him as a fighter, that's what is, you know, for sure his, his strong point is his punch power. So it's exciting because sometimes he looks like oh, we're coming into trouble and then suddenly he pulls a punch out of the bag and that's it. But it's good, it's good for the crowd. You know, again, another fight where you don't always know what's, what's coming next with him. I mean, he had one absolute, the fight that he lost was an absolute classic. I mean, the whole place was like, erupted. <laughs> I think they had like three knockdowns, uh, heavy knockdowns, you know, they were both like, looked like they were out, then they're back in, the other one's out and coming back again. And uh, unfortunately, Warren lost that night, but he, he had a lot on his mind uh, that he told me afterwards, some of the things that he had going on. And uh, to be honest, I'd have, if he'd have told me that a week before the fight, I'd have said, Warren, Maybe pulled him out. I would have pulled him out definitely, yeah. But he didn't didn't tell me, you know. Coming back to Friday's show, tickets available? Yeah, there's tickets available. Um, you can either go to the boxers or you go to the hellraiserboxing.com. I think it's always best to get them off the boxers on the undercard. I don't know why, I just... Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Look, see, see those shows I run at King's Cross? Um, sometimes we make a profit, it's possible. But yeah. quite often we run at a loss or a break even. But I manage a load of... I've got 80 boxers now that I'm managing. So 80? Eight zero. Right. So the, the 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 reason the show works for me is even if I or I might drop a grand or fifteen hundred quid or something, but in the the scheme of things, it actually works in my favour because it means I can get look at. For, I'll give you an example. Dean yeah. Burn, who's boxing tonight in the prize fight, who um he had a lot of problems with his manager before me. Uh, so he had like a long period of inactivity, and I said to him, look, Dean, this is how you got to do it. You sell your tickets for one fight. I've got to get you active and. Uh, get you a win so we can get you rated. He, he boxed at King's Cross, I lost money on the show. It didn't matter because then we got Dean a uh, big fight in Monaco for really good money. And uh, he uh, put up a really good account of himself and it's off the back of that. He's now ended up here. So, um, well, listen, he I'll works. be there to cover your show on Friday. As Look forward always, to having I'm you with us. I'm trying to come down, I really enjoy your shows. If anyone's watching this, just come down to the camp centre on Friday. You can't get to get can't have a bad night. You will, you will have a great night, which is the boxing door. You can't have a... It's impossible to have a bad night. We've got a big bar, got a load of boxing. Just remember, I like this a lot. Look forward to seeing you there. Cheers, mate. Thank you.